Hi students, myself Tanmay Datto, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, GIS College of Engineering. Uh, welcome you all in my class of air pollution. Today we will discuss about the acid rain. That means uh, what are the reactions or what are the acids which are mainly involved to produce the acid rain, uh, how these uh, acids are produced and uh, what are the adverse effects of the acid rain. These all the things we will discuss in the today's class. Acid rain, the most important part of the air pollution. And you know, this acid rain is the uh, very dangerous in that uh, time, in that moment, and gradually the uh, it creates several kinds of problem in our environment. So first of all, what is the acid rain? So uh, acid rain, a rain that is more acidic, that is more acidic than the normal uh, water that is called the acid rain. So that means the uh, how we can uh, understand the uh, rain is acidic or not by the pH. Okay, I will discuss uh, what is the pH. So first of all, in other words, the precipitation containing acid in, in other words, the precipitation containing acid in amount more than usual is called acid rain. Acid rain has pH value very low. Actually, uh, from the pH value, uh, we consider that either the solution is acidic or basic or neutral. So, uh, this is the actually uh, tool by which we can understand uh, what is the uh, uh, pH of the uh, solution and then we understand the acidity basicity or acidic basic or the uh, not acidity basicity this is the different thing either acidic or basic or the neutral so now first of all we have to know that uh, what is the ph okay how we can define the ph so ph means uh, generally ph means it is the minus logarithm of concentration of h plus now uh, H plus why H plus because you know if you take any of the acid a uh, general acid for example uh, HCl if you take HCl then you know from HCl what you are getting you are getting H plus and the Cl minus so in the general definition in the general definition you know there uh, must be some contribution of the H plus okay acid means there are different kind of definitions of the acid are there but in case of Arrhenius equation or Arrhenius definition of acid you know that you have to take in this way that acid uh, means it is the uh, it, which which gives the H plus iron okay so that's why generally we it is taken that pH equal to minus log of concentration of the H plus this is the H plus actually so uh, so this is the equation where H plus is the hydrogen ion concentration in mole per liter now pH scale for acid varies from 0 to uh, 7 okay so for acid actually more specifically we can take in this uh, way that it will be acid will be 0 to uh, 0 or uh, not actually 0 is not uh, applicable so we can take in this way uh, 0 to 1 to 6.9 okay so this is the range of the acid that means uh, for any uh, solution for any solution if you if you if you look that the ph of the solution is in the range in the in between uh, 0 0.1 to 6.9 then you have to consider it okay this is the acid okay and 7 is the neutral ph 7 is the neutral pH okay it is the neutral pH that means if the uh, pH of the any solution is 7 then it is considered as the neutral it is not acidic not a basic and then 7.1 to 14 okay so 7.1 to 7.1 to 14 it is the basic pH okay it is the range of the basic pH above 7 pH if the uh, pH of any solution become above 7 then it is taken as the basic 
okay so now ph scale for uh, acidity or basic uh, acid acidic or basic uh, we can determine if we know the ph of the solution okay so now that rain water has the ph of value acid rain you have to keep in mind the generally the uh, rain of which has the ph uh, in between 2 to 5 okay so if the ph uh, generally that is the ph of the acid rain obviously the so, uh, solution become acidic that the rain water become acidic so generally the ph occur in between 2 to 5 and you know if it is in between 0 0.1 to 6.9 then obviously it uh, will be acidic but generally what happened in between 2 to 5 it is the range of the uh, acid rain water okay so now uh, some historical facts are there okay if you if you look, look the um, two scientists are there okay so dr uh, dr jean e uh, Litton, they, they discovered uh, the acid rain in north america and uh, he is the man actually he is the man uh, who discovered the uh, acid rain at first and the english uh, chemist uh, robert uh, angus invented the term acid rain for the first time he uh, he sometimes uh, referred to as the father of the acid rain okay so these two uh, scientists the name of these two scientists are uh, related very much related with the uh, with the acid uh, rain okay this is the historical part, history part okay about the uh, first uh, the name came the field from which scientist regarding this fact now uh, detailed explanation of this process okay so uh, acid rain refers to the deposition of acidic components in either wet forms like dew smoke or dry forms sulfates nitrates etc so you have to you have to understand properly that that uh, uh, it is the deposition acid rain refers to the deposition of acidic acidic components okay deposition of acidic components in either wet forms okay or like wet form means what is the wet form du smoke okay or the dry forms like sulfates nitrates etc etc biggest contributor is the burning of coal okay this is the biggest contributor this is the very important you have to keep in mind that burning of coal it is the main culprit actually and really you know that uh this is the 10 to the power 12 gram approximately okay of the uh, sulfur emission sulfur emission emissions comes from the fossil fuel burning okay so this huge amount of sulfur uh, that that come from the fossil fuel burning that compare the vol volcanoes or the uh, wildfires also this is almost uh, comparable okay this is this is very 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 high amount okay so uh, now burning of coal burning of burning coal is extremely cheap and efficient but it is dirty that is the problem that though the burning the burning coal is extremely cheap and the efficient but it is very very dirty releasing sulfur dioxide which become sulfuric acid in atmosphere and you know when it convert to the sulfuric acid what i told you that acid rain means there must be some mixing of, of the water rain uh, water uh, with the acid isn't it so if there is any kind of mixing occur between acid and the uh, rain water then only it is possible that the rain water become acidic or the acid rain now sulfuric acid okay when sulfuric acid sulfur dioxide convert the sulfuric acid obviously it has some kind of contribution to form the acid and areas downwind of power plants are receive heavy acid rain due to it okay so uh, this is the another explanation now uh, source of the acid rain which are the source okay so this is the another way that look here that uh, sulfur nitrogen 
and carbon these three are main culprit okay i will explain why so if you if the sulfur nitrogen sulfur nitrogen carbon methane though it is very small amount these gases react with air to form oxides then moisture to form uh, to form the acid okay these three compounds sulfur like for example sulfur okay sulfur forms to sulfur dioxide and then when it reacts with the moisture then it converts to the sulfuric acid isn't it so in the same way if you look that nitrogen nitrogen there are, i already discussed with you there are so many uh, oxides of nitrogen present so these oxides of nitrogen when it reacts with a moisture it is converted to the uh, nitric acid clear so in this uh, way actually these three compounds are main culprit to produce or to generate the acids okay because without the uh, production or generation of the acid it is not possible that uh, that acid rain will be formed so there must be some kinds of acid which is generated in the atmosphere and by which actually acid uh, acid uh, acid rain is uh, produced okay so these three these three sulfur nitrogen and carbon these three compounds are the main source of the generation of the acid rain so uh, now what is the reaction what i told you you have to look uh, very carefully what are the reaction so first of all the gases mentioned above okay the gases mainly uh, uh, mentioned above means in the previous slide uh, that uh, forms the oxides and reacts with atmospheric moisture to form the gaseous acids so what are the reactions okay so look n2o if it is the one of the oxides of the nitrogen i told you there is some nitrogen ox uh, oxides which present like n2o n2o3 etc etc so then these oxides when it reacts uh, with look here when it reacts with h2o when it reacts with h2o it produce it produce the hno3 and you know this is the nitric acid okay so nitric acid what 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 if, if it is the nitric acid it is the nitric acid now uh, another oxide of the nitrogen uh, which is n2o3 this is the another oxide of the nitrogen n2o3 uh, when n2o3 reacts uh, with a water it produce uh, nitrous oxide this is the nitrous oxide actually this is the nitric acid and this is the nitrous acid okay so a uh, nitric acid and nitrous acid both are very very dangerous okay because both are acid okay so general principle is that these three elements like nitrogen carbon and the sulfur these three elements actually mainly nitrogen and sulfur look here that the general concept is it produce at first the oxides then when these oxides react with the water then it produce its acid corresponding acid either nitric acid or nitrous acid both are uh, both helps to decrease the ph of the uh, rain water now come to the part of the sulfur so if you consider if you if you consider the sulfur look here that sulfur in the same way uh, this is the reaction in the same way sulfur uh, reacts with oxygen at first to form the oxides of the sulfur then it reacts with oxygen uh, the h2o again moisture then it produce the h2so4 sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid is the another culprit which help to produce or help to uh, reduce the uh, ph of the water so in this uh, way uh, actually the ph of the uh, water again it will be decreased okay so so there are there are so many acids are produced already first of all starting from uh, you know uh, nitric acid then nitrous acid and then sulfuric acid okay so now uh, some uh, uh, this is a diagram okay that acid rain uh, formation so if you if you if you look the diagram carefully so look there look here 
that uh, uh, that from the from the uh, industry with the there there some a so2 sulfur dioxide is produced the oxides of the nitrogen is produced and with the moisture okay so with the moisture this 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 reacts with the moisture and it produce either h2so4 either h2so4 or hno3 HNO3 and then it it mixed with the water and it from the acid rain then in this way it comes to the uh, comes to the earth okay so that means uh, its pH of the water become decreased and uh, the, uh, the the acid uh, acid rain in the way of acid rain is uh, generated so uh, this is the another thing there's the this is the previous case it was the from the uh from the uh, industry in the same way from house from the vehicles okay in the smoke of the vehicles they are also sulfur present and in this way again from here there some acids are produced okay so uh from the uh, SO2 and NOx then dry deposition okay then the same way there uh, this is the another picture of the acid rain so in this way also acid rain is uh, generated okay so acid rain uh, very very harmful for the environment I will explain also that what is the harmful effect of the acid rain so uh, so this is the another picture about industrial development with in, uh, with industrial development and with the volcanic natural there's some natural process also like some uh, volcanic um, uh, volcanic eruption there uh, nitrogen and uh, sulfur uh, come out okay and some biological process also like you know uh, nitrogen cycle or the uh, sulfur cycle from there some some contribution of nitrogen and sulfur then some overall man-made of uh, man-made factors are they are like um, dry industry agriculture because in agriculture there are some uh, f- uh, there is some fertilizer fertilizers are there uh, which which uh, where the contribution of nitrogen uh, nitrogen all, always there okay so from there also there is some contribution of the nitrogen and this nitrogen actually produced uh, some oxides and when these oxides reacts with the so now uh, come to the effects of the acid rain okay so uh, effects of the acid rain first of all first of all there are intense effect of the acid rain effects of the uh, monuments and the sculptures this is the main important part and this is the uh, part of where we have to think more and more and because the uh, throughout the world actually uh, that there are some the monuments and the sculptures they are badly affected uh, by the acid rain there is an effects on the trees and the, uh, the vegetation effects on the animals and effects on the humans also okay so uh, one by one i will i will explain okay now uh, point wise i will discuss one by one uh, that what are the adverse effects of the acid rain so first of all as you know that uh, acid rain there is a very uh, dangerous effect on the aquatic species or the aquatic aquatic lives okay so first point is that they are badly they are they are damaged by the uh, by the acid rain that is the aquatic lives okay so first point is that that the main adverse effect on the aquatic lives and uh, many uh, aquatic lives here actually disappeared due to this acid rain second uh, second uh, b- b- adverse effect of the acid rain this is the the leaves of the leaves of the plants and uh, the plant and the trees actually are damaged and not only that it become yellow okay yellow due to acid rain this is the important point you have to note down that due to acid rain the leaves of the uh, the, if the leaves of the plants become yellow that means there is a problem in the photosynthesis because yellow means there there is some effect will be on the chlorophyll and you know chlorophyll is the main important part of the photosynthesis without chlorophyll it is not possible for the photosynthesis so that's why there is an adverse effect on the uh, trees and the 
plants on the trees and plants on the leaves of the trees and plants yet it, it damaged and uh, before 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 this damage damaging process the uh, the leaves of the trees and uh, plants become uh, yellow okay so this is the another uh, drawback of the acid rain now come to the third drawback of the acid rain and this is very very important and uh, worldwide uh, we, we are discussing about uh, this kind of drawback that it it causes the several uh, severe damage to the buildings and the structural uh, materials of marble limestone etc and there is a reaction you know by which it it damage the uh, the marbles or the limestones okay you know that due to acid rain the the <clears throat> actually the the color of the taj mahal also there is an effect of, uh, of on the taj mahal okay so how this happen so look the reaction there is in marble then that is actually calcium carbonate all of you know very well there is a cso3 so when this CO, cso3 reacts with h2so4 you also know that uh, in acid rain there are uh, three uh, types of the uh, acids are present one type is the acid from sulfur i will again show the reactions individually or uh, how it, it, it is produced <clears throat> I already discussed about this fact actually so from the sulfur it is the uh, sulfuric acid from the nitrogen it is the nitric acid and from the carbon it is the carbonic acid so when uh, it is the one example when h2so4 react with calcium carbonate then what it produced this is the uh, caso4 plus h2o h2o plus co2 okay and uh, in this in this way actually that uh, caso4 gradually this 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 coso4 gradually this caso4 covers the surface if it is the surface if it is the surface of the marble then what happen caso4 gradually covers the surface of the marble okay there is a layer of the caso4 so what happened the original bright color of the uh, of the uh, marble that will be gradually decreased okay and this is the main problem different types of sculptures are there uh, the structural bodies there, there you know there are some uh, historical places are there where it is made by marble but due to uh, this acid rain gradually the brightness is decreased and it is also it affect that dangerously because when it if it react with the calcium carbonate then not only it decrease the brightness it also badly damage the marble also okay so the, this is the another uh, drawback now uh, on the human body you know acid rain is very very uh, dangerous uh, there is a chance of the uh, skin cancer actually there is a chance of the skin cancer uh, from uh, from the uh, or skin disease maybe uh, from the acid rain okay so these are the uh, main or uh, major drawbacks of the acid uh, rain which you have to uh, major adverse effects of the acid uh, so uh, that means uh, what uh, what you have to keep in mind that there are main uh, three constituents are there that uh, first of all there was the sulfur you know uh, sulfur mainly uh, in different process it it, it it come to the environment and from the sulfur there are three major acids are there uh, first of all uh, from the sulfur it, the, it may be uh, from the step by step process which I already shown to you uh, H2SO4 or H2SO3 so uh, sulfurous acid or sulfuric acid okay so H2SO4 and H2SO3 it can be formed from the sulfur second was the nitrogen from the nitrogen there is a chance of the formation of HNO3 and H N O2 either nitric acid or nitrous acid okay so the chance of the formation both acids and uh, <coughs> last one is the carbon okay there is a less contribution but uh, we can't ignore because uh, with uh, when uh, carbon dioxide react with H2O you know it forms the H2CO3 okay so now uh, now look that these acids are mainly responsible these acids are mainly responsible for the uh, for the acid rain okay so you have to keep in mind that uh, that without uh, if if we if we uh, if we control the generation of the main three constituents sulfur oxide of sulfurs nitrogens 
then there will be a less chance of the uh, generation of the acid rain so how we can uh, how we can uh, con uh, actually control the uh, generation of the uh, acid rain so first of all we have to use uh, we, uh, we have to use the uh, coal uh, with low sulfur content okay the coal uh, with low sulfur content so which we have to keep in mind okay so the coal which have the low sulfur con content there is a less chance of the uh, of the uh, emission of the sulfur uh, or mixing of the sulfur to the environment and uh, there there is a chance we can use the scrubbers actually okay we can use the scrubbers uh, or we can uh, b b to remove the sulfur uh, from the emission okay so it may be another solution scrubbers we can use or the limit process is known to uh, generate high level of uh, acid rain so there the process should be uh, limited or this this process should be controlled uh, where the chance of the generation of the acid rain okay or and these are the few pictures where acid rain badly affect you know that the color of the uh, sculptures are totally changed and it badly damaged already and uh, either you know that the effect on the uh, trees what i told you that they, these also affect the trees and the plants different kinds of plants uh, by 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 affecting on the uh, indirect eff effect of the on the uh, photosynthesis and also uh, this is the effect on the forest uh, which affected by the acid rain badly and you know effect on the animals like uh, what i told you there is a bad effect on the aquatic lives also so there you see there are so many aquatic uh, lives which which totally uh, damaged by the acid rain okay and uh, humans also there are different kinds of problems arise i told you only skin cancer skin disease it may be it may uh, may create some kinds of uh, respiratory problems also asthma uh, along with the dry coughs okay headache and uh, throat irritation can be caused uh, can be caused by the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides from the acid rain also that even even it it, it, it can badly damage, damage the brain kidney problem can arise also okay so there are different kinds of problem can arise so anyhow uh, that the rain water is not pure nowadays like in the um, so many years ago they are at a there is a time when it, when it was told that that rain water is the most pure water but nowadays it is badly affected by the acid rain and it create a, a dangerous problem on the human body also now come to the point what are the conclusions that conclusions are uh, first of all acid uh, rain is the uh, rain containing acid in more uh, proportion than usual acid rain is caused by two major gases uh, coming from uh, related to the sulfur and nitrogen there is little bit contribution of the carbon sulfur and nitrogen comes uh, from environmental source like a uh, volcanoes or uh, biological cycles or from man-made sources like industries and the automobiles and we have to control the uh, generation of the acids in the atmosphere such that the less amount of acid rain or less uh, less amount of uh, harmful effect uh, will be if if there are some gases which are responsible for generation of acid when the elements which are coming out from different sources if we control this then we can control the acid rain also okay so that's all for today and uh, meet with you in the next class with a different topic you have to read all the things in uh, more details uh, or acid rain is very very important for our daily life experience or for the exam purpose so uh, just uh, just uh, you have to make a note on the reaction on the uh, on the uh, adverse effects etc etc okay thanks for watching uh, goodbye take care